In the relevant today, we are doing a new room from Drag Me that is named Corridor. So let's get going. It's a easy room that has an I door vulnerability. So let's start off with the envelope scan. So I'm going to say envelope dash A for aggressive scan, dash V for verbose output, and then the IP. And then I'm going to say dash P dash to scan all the 6535 ports. Sorry, 65,535 ports, as you can see right here. And we can see we immediately end up discovered the port 80 TCP open on this IP. So let's open our browser and let's browse over to port 80. By default, browser office goes to port 80 because it's the HTTP server. So let's get this to full screen. And we can also take a look at the webalizer, what it says. We can see Flask is in use and it's 2.0.3 and Python 3.10.2 is in use. And this is just an image. And we can see when we browse over to doors, uh, there's a hash value kinda and okay so all these doors lead to some kind of link that looks like a hash as you can see right here so there are I guess 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 13 doors okay 6 here 6 here and 1 here so there are 13 doors okay so let's take a look at the source code so I'm gonna say control U this is a shortcut key, shortcut key to view the source code and we can see right here this is the source code of this page we have the CSS here and all these links of the doors that lead us to somewhere. So if I go over to one of the links, let's remove the source. We can see right here the background image is empty room. So it looks like, looks like it's the empty room. There's nothing inside the room. Yeah, we can see right here. It's just an image of an empty room. So we need to find something that is not empty, I guess. So if I go back and then go to the another link, we can see here it's the same empty room. So we can manually check if every room is empty. It looks like every one is empty. All right, so these hash values are kind of recognizable because this, uh, I guess there are 36, 32 characters here. So if I do WC dash C, we can see there are 33 characters. So we can quickly go over to crack station so that we can decrypt this hash and find the value. Click on crack hashes and we can see it is a MD5 type value that uh, results to 1. So if I take the another one then it should decrypt to 2. Yeah, it is too. So we know what type of you can say encryption is being used to browse over to different doors. So it is using one two, but uh, it is encoded in the MD5, and then the URL is made. So we can see there are 13 doors. If I try to browse over to 14th door, then I should use the 14th um, MD5 value. So I'm gonna go to Cyber Chef. Go to Shiver Chef so I can make I'm gonna input here 14 and go here type in MD5 now it will encrypt this 14 to MD5 sum and this is the sum you can see right here so in order just to verify we can also see the value of 1 is C4 C2 uh, CA and then you can also see here it is it starts with C4 CA the first value okay so I can set here 14 I copy this and then let's remove the source from here and then paste in the 14th value here and then we can say it says not found so this url was not found so the first value is the door one that is one so if i insert zero here then maybe i can find something so let's say zero control c control v here and we can see we have the flag here so this is the IDOR vulnerability that is indirect object reference and we have our flag here because we browsed over to something that uh, a normal user would not be able to if he does not decrypt what kind of value is this this is md5 sum of 0 so that is all for this box it was just a simple box for demonstrating the IDOR vulnerability I hope you understood and I hope I was able to explain clearly. So that's it for today. I will see you next time.